Hello, oh, welcome to Fan Park Live. What's your name? Hi, my name's Pav. How are you lot doing? I'm okay, Pav. Who do you support, mate? Uh, Man United, bro. Good, good. Uh, tell us what's on your mind after that humbling and embarrassing defeat. Oh, do you know what, mate? It's been weak since I rang you lot because if I'm ringing, it's, I'm literally speaking the same stuff every <laughs> week. So I haven't even bothered ringing in, but today it's just... I really hope something happens tomorrow, but I know it won't. Let me ask you this question. We're playing our biggest rivals. I know we're going away to Anfield. Were you shocked by the by the lack of performance from Man United, or is this everything that you have come to expect under Jose Mourinho and Ed Woodward's reign? No, I'm not. I'm not shocked. We've been seeing it since the start of the season. We've been playing the same. Uh, we're literally, he's literally picking players that. He wants to pick. He doesn't want to pick Martial. He doesn't want to pick Pogba. It's the same shit every week. We literally sat there playing seven at the back today. It didn't surprise me at all. Like but, I don't. It's nothing surprises me. But what's, what's wrong with him picking? Not picking Pogba though when he's not performing. I don't understand what you're trying to say. He's not performing. He, he's the early midfielder. He's outperforming other players. He might not be. Did, did you uh, see? Did you see how he performed against Southampton? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not about like if you go if you go on by stats, he does he makes more passes, creates more chances, runs more than anyone else. So I can't understand this whole point of saying hey, he don't perform. But when he's when he's outperforming our players on stats, if you look at stats, but obviously the problem, but the main problem with Pogba is, is obviously the feud between him and Joe, Jose. That's the only reason why he's not getting picked. But I don't see, I don't want him to see him go. But I actually think in January he might actually ask for a transfer. That's that's what it's come to because there was a video brought out on uh, another fan channel and they said that mm. apparently Pogba said wait till January, see what happens in January. Well, well, this, so, there's an interesting quote here. Jose Mourinho was interviewed before the game and they asked him why he'd benched um, Pogba and he says, I always do what, I, this is what Jose said, I, mean, I always do what is best for the team. Today we need to be aggressive without the ball. I understand that point by Jose. What he says there makes logical sense. Where I'm more frustrated is the deeper meaning, is the fact that we have become a team who can only go away to Anfield, the, the, the Etihad, the Emirates, Stamford Bridge, and win if we are aggressive without the ball and, 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 and become a, you know, a, a smash and grab type team. That's where it's gone wrong under Joseph. Forget for a moment all the somatics and the arguing and the bleating and the crying and the moaning when it comes to oh, the man management and the, the bullying. Just forget all that for one second. The way we have developed football under Jose Mourinho has not worked. And whether that's because he hasn't been given the right players or not, I don't care about the whys. I care about what we're... On this, this subject, know, you know I care what about what we're seeing. Is, What's that? We've literally, since uh, Fergie's gone, started from the boys that we've spent just over four hundred and sixty million pounds, but can you see on that pitch four hundred and sixty million pounds worth of talent? No, that's actually worth the amount of money we've spent. That's what annoys me more. You go give four hundred and sixty million pounds to the teams of like Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea, and you have a look at what players they could bring in. But what we've done, we've bought average players. We've bought in players that haven't worked out. Di Maria, Memphis. People like that. Look, look at what we've done with that money. Absolutely nothing. So, yep. where where fans obviously moan about not players not being bought in, you can't really moan when we've spent nearly five hundred million in six odd years. Mate, the, I, players mate, that mate, we, mate. the players Pav, that we bring in aren't good enough. Pav, I said this on Wednesday night. I won't. I'm not bemoaned the amount of money that Man United have spent. It's been the lack of quality that has come in with that. Yeah. It's been the type yeah, of, of players that have been purchased. There, there appears to be no pattern. It's almost a scattergun. It's a, it's like someone who's had no money their whole life, winning the lottery, and just going out and buying things that they do not need. You know, I've already got a Ferrari. I'm going to buy a Lamborghini as well. But, bruv, and you don't even have a driving license. Stuff. Let me just let me just double check, though. Let me just double check. Sorry, sorry, I agree sorry, with sorry. you totally. Pat, there's only a few people that I can... Um, understand properly and you're one of them because you speak you speak the honest truth thank you and listen Pav one sec Pav 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 I'm not, I'm not going to ask it you lot want to have your loving so. no no go on so, no, what no. You say? I'm, I'm, I wanted to, I'm trying to stop him speak I just want to know yeah. I just want to double check quickly Paul Pogba's not included in those players that you say weren't, weren't purchased the right people that weren't purchased right 
No, no, obviously, he's obviously included not, in that. The price, like, we've paid, what, 80, 90 million for him. Oh, he, but there's other players that we've paid for way over the odds that we've per, so, uh, paid so for included. who don't deserve to be in the team. But it's like a lot of people say, we've bought the wrong players for the wrong price. Okay. We've bought players that shouldn't have been there and we've kept players no, there that should listen, have been shipped out a long Pav, time Pav, ago. But Pav, Pav, I think, I think the issue for me, when, we, when I say we've bought the wrong players, example, Angel Di Maria, for you, Adam, mm-hmm. Top quality player? Not anymore. When we had him. At the time that you bought him, yeah. Yeah. The, the point I'm making is that we had him for a year. Didn't do anything with him. Yeah. We've had Paul Pogba come in. Do do Man United play the right style of football to get the best out of Paul Pogba? You could argue. You can make an argument to say, yeah, actually. Under Jose Marino, we played the right football for Paul Pogba to be at his best. You could make an argument but to say, yeah. It, for me, it's not about an argument. The fact of the matter, in terms of the eye test, we don't play good enough football under Jose with Paul Pogba. So I'm not saying Paul Pogba is not worth 90 million. I'm saying what's the point of buying a man like Paul Pogba who wants to play football a certain way when Jose doesn't play that style of football? It, it, there's no coherence to any of the decisions. And this is why I hold Jose accountable for some of it. I hold the board, the scouting system. There is so much money that's been wasted at Manchester United on players that we, that we need, but then we're not playing a style of football that's conducive for them. It, it makes no sense thing, to me. The only thing, if I could say that quickly, the only thing I'd say is just watch out for January. See what happens in January. Um, I'm 50-50 thinking that there could be major changes happening at United in January, but that's, that's just me. That's what I'm thinking at the minute. I'm like 50-50. I reckon something major is going to happen in January with the club. Mate, appreciate your call. Thanks very much.